everybody, what is up? It is Newt15, and I am back making YouTube videos. This is something that I wanted to get back into, and I figured right now, uh, a couple days before E3, it's probably the best time to do it. When we first started the channel, uh, I covered, I think it was E3 2018, and I had a lot of fun doing that, and I figured, you know, why not? There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out in the gaming industry in the next couple of days, and... I want to be that place that everybody comes to to find out about what's going on. So uh, today in this video, I'm covering the top 10 expectations or I guess maybe not expectations, but what I think is going to happen at E3 this year. Uh, I like I like covering E3. I like I catch it every year and it's it's fun, fun way for me to stay up to date with everything that's going on. And uh, it's fun to think about all the games that could have been. R.I.P. Scale Bound. I was very excited about that game, and then poof, it vanished. Nothing to be more, nothing but hopes and dreams. But uh, anyway, here we go. Number 10, Forza Horizon 5. Uh, I We haven't had a new Horizon game in quite some time, and I think uh, this year's as good as any, especially since uh, Sony is not going to be at this year's E3 again. And there's been there wasn't an E3 last year really, so this right here is going to be an excellent time for Xbox to showcase everything and honestly just be like we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this and I think one of that is going to be another part of the Forza series from them, uh, the Forza Horizon series I think will be a great way to showcase the uh, the new Xbox, and it's supposed to take place in Mexico so I I've seen some stuff online and i was just watching another video and they said that uh they think it's going to be announced this year because on a hot wheels toy site uh they have released cars that are going to be in a new forza game so i think this year's as good as any to announce that number nine i think they're going to release the destiny 2 crossplay um, I know it's been rumored, and well, I guess it's more than rumors at this point, but uh, I know, I think it was in May that they did a free crossplay weekend, and there was a glitch that people were still able to crossplay with each other for a little bit, um, and I think that this E3 is going to be a good time to just be like, hey everybody, you can now play Destiny with your friends, because I know the player base for that has been dwindling. Number eight is the Elden Ring. Uh, this is the game that George R. R. Martin has been helping write the story, and I think it was either last year or the year before that they uh, released a teaser trailer. And there really hasn't been a whole lot coming out, and I think that this is going to be another game that uh, takes a highlight, uh, is going to be a highlight for the show, and I don't know. I don't know. I the, I haven't really seen a whole lot about this game ever since that teaser trailer, and I think it's going to be one of those games that's going to be highly talked about. I wouldn't be surprised if George R. R. Martin isn't there to talk about it himself. Um, number seven. Uh, I do not think that this game is going to be released, but I think that there is going to be talk about at least a teaser trailer about a new Gears of War. Uh, it's been two years since Gears of War 5, so I wouldn't be surprised if they release a teaser trailer for a new Gears game to either be released the holiday season of 22 or um, spring of 23, but I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be coming this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if a new Gears of War game is definitely in the works. For number six, uh, another new title, especially since uh, Bethesda and Xbox are working together, I think we're going to see the, the, the new Wolfenstein game. Maybe same along the lines of a uh, teaser trailer like Gears of War, but uh, I definitely think it's time for a new Wolfenstein game. I know the last one, which was just a spin-off, didn't do that well. Youngblood, Wolfenstein Youngblood. I know uh, that wasn't well received, and I think it's probably time for the next step of the uh, Wolfenstein 3, next part of that story. Number five, I think, is going to be 
uh, Skull and Bones. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot, just a few, you know, trailers dropped here and there. But, I don't know. I, it's one of those games that's, like, on my radar. I don't think I'm personally going to play it, but I know some other people that are going to are going to definitely play it. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of like Assassin's Creed with, like, the boat battles, but not first person like Sea of Thieves is. So, I don't know what it's going to be about, other than it's pirate-themed, and uh, I'm all ready for it. Number four. Um, I think we're going to see more about uh, the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And that is a game that has been in the back of my mind, and I've just been waiting for more news about that game. I, I think it's going to be a blast. It's going to be one of those games that I hope doesn't turn out like the Avengers. But uh, I, I'm excited for it. I love the Suicide Squad characters. Uh, the first movie I was on the fence about, but especially with the second movie coming out, I wouldn't be surprised if we learn more about this game. Uh, for my top three, these are things that are probably going to be for sure. Uh, one of them especially is for sure. Number three, I think it's going to be Hogwarts Legacy. I think that this is a game that everybody's anticipating, and as far as I've heard, it's a spring of 2022 release. And so, I mean, right now is probably as good a time as any to get uh, feedback, and I wouldn't be surprised if they say that they're going to have a beta for it soon. Uh, I don't know how soon, but probably this year there's going to be a beta. Number two. Now, my number two and number one were very hard to list because I think both of these games are going to be a big part, especially because of the Bethesda and Xbox team up now. Well, I guess Xbox bought Bethesda. So, um, number two is Starfield. Uh, it was originally mentioned in 2018, and it's the new sci fi adventure from Bethesda. And I'm very excited to see a new IP from Bethesda. And a lot hasn't been shown about this game, but I think E3 2021 is probably a great time to do it. And they're probably going to spend a lot of time on that. And my number one, which uh, to anybody who knows me, uh, I have been very excited about this game, Halo Infinite. Um... I think it's, I know when they first released the gameplay footage of it uh, at the last E3, it was not well received. So what I'm thinking is that at this year's E3, there's going to be new gameplay footage. They're going to announce a beta for the free-to-play multiplayer, which that alone I just found out about because I was just watching other videos and, and they kept mentioning it. I was like, oh shit. Halo is going to have a free to play multiplayer. So that alone right there is awesome. And I think I think that this is the year that we see a Halo Battle Royale. And the reason I think that is because they want to take over Warzone. Um I don't know if this is the Warzone killer, especially with the Battlefield trailer that dropped yesterday, which was awesome and I'm highly I'm looking forward to that game just you know, EA is not going to be at E3 this year, so that's why that's not on the list. But honestly, if we don't see a little bit more, a little gameplay, or at least, you know, an extended trailer at E3, I wouldn't be surprised just to show off the new Xbox console. Uh, and that right there is what I think is going to be uh, the E3, what I have hopes for to see at E3. I do have some honorable mentions. The uh, honorable mentions that I do have, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more about Gotham Knights, uh, Breath of the Wild 2, which I honestly, that's probably going to be Nintendo's biggest announcement this weekend. The only reason I, ha I don't have it on my list is I don't have a Switch and I'm not that up to date on other Nintendo stuff. Um, we haven't seen a game... Uh, in this series in a long time, and so this would be something that would just be, you know, something fun and nice to see would be Saints Row 5. 
Um, I think we're going to learn more about the Rainbow Six Quarantine. I know every year Ubisoft spends uh, quite a bit of time on the new stuff coming up with uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I think we're going to see more about Fable. I know there was that, uh, that, I guess, trailer or whatever you want to call it, glimpse or just, you know, like, hey, we're making this game, uh, sneak peek type thing of Fable, and that was the last thing I heard about it. Uh, and that's that's what I have. Uh, I think E3 is going to be a blast this year. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, be sure to subscribe down below, and you can also catch me this weekend. I'll be streaming on Twitch, uh, my channel Nuked15, which uh, down below I'm going to have the link as well. Uh, so with that, uh, be sure to leave a comment on the video of what you think is going to happen at E3 this year. And uh, give me a like, subscribe down below, and hit the bell so uh, you don't miss upcoming videos this weekend. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I'll see you next time.